Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, who's coming towards you in regards to love? All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed. Sometimes in these readings. All right, let's go. Spirit angels and guides, please show me who's coming towards Sagittarius in regards to love. Let's see. All right, here we go. Who's coming towards Sagittarius in regards to love? First card we have is the chariot. So this is confirmation. Someone is definitely coming towards you. They may be traveling to see you if they live at a distance. It could be a, a Cancer or an Aries also. Person in the chariot card is the Emperor. Emperor is the card of Aries. All right. Tell me more, Spirit, who's coming towards Sagittarius in regards to love? So we have the Five of Pentacles. With the Five of Pentacles, this is someone who might be feeling abandoned by you, abandoned by you, um, ignored by you. They feel left out in the cold. They feel like you kicked them out of the house. That could be literally for some of you. And with the Chariot card, it just kind of looks like they want to come back home. Chariot is the card of Cancer. Cancer is, a, cancer, is, cancer is the zodiac sign, sorry, that represents home. So I'm definitely getting an energy of, I want to go back home, I want to, or I want to come back home. Okay. I feel like this person misses you. Tell me more, Spirit, who's coming towards Sagittarius in regards to love? Yeah, the sun in reverse. They want to be happy again. They feel really unhappy, especially in this energy of feeling left out in the cold, feeling abandoned, rejected, ignored. It's making them feel terrible, miserable, unhappy with the sun card. And that's why they're coming towards you. They want to be happy again. And they feel like the key to them feeling happy again is returning back to you and trying to recover their connection or relationship with you. But let's, uh, let's ask their intentions. Here we go. Spirit angels and guys, what are this person's true and real intentions with Sagittarius, please? Why are they coming? Why are they coming towards Sagittarius? Why is this person coming towards Sagittarius? What are their intentions? So we have the nine of wands in reverse in regards to their intentions. Huh. They wanna get out of their ego they feel like their ego is making them miserable because their ego is, is what's keeping them away from you. Yeah, they feel like their ego is what's keeping them away from you. Also, the fear of you rejecting them is what has been keeping them away from you. I feel like this, this person was playing the victim at some point. They were playing the victim and I feel like they're now recognizing that they were playing the victim. At some point, this person was blaming you for their unhappiness. 
they were looking at you as the bad guy or uh, the bad girl, the villain. But it just kind of looks like they're they're realizing that by them making you the villain is not going to is not going to make them happy again. So I feel like they're in this energy of let me stop making Sagittarius the villain, making out Sagittarius to be the villain. Let me stop playing the victim. Let me get out get out of my ego and let me just. Let me just take action towards Sagittarius because they're not going to do it. So I have no choice and nobody else is going to pick me up from the streets. So I might as well. I might as well go back to Sagittarius and try to work things out. Because despite whatever issues I have with Sagittarius, um, I do have a strong emotional connection with Sagittarius and Sagittarius has made me happy in the past. Okay, so I'm just like, I'm talking as if it were them. I'm channeling the, the messages that are going through their mind. All right, tell me more spirit. What are this person's True intentions with Sagittarius, please. Why are they coming back or why are they coming towards Sagittarius? So we have justice. Yeah, they definitely want to settle things with you. They feel like it's not worth it, you know? It's not worth it to be at odds with you. It's just keeping them away from you. It's just keeping them away from you, you know, even more. You know, the more time passes by that they um, are at odds with you, the more colder they get, you know? So it's, it's just not practical, you know? I feel like that's what they're thinking. It's just not practical to, to not fix things with Sagittarius. It's not practical at this point. I'm just hurting myself. I'm just making things worse for myself. Let me go apologize and let me make things right. Who cares who's right and who's wrong? I don't care anymore with the Nine of Wands in, in reverse. I don't really care anymore. I just want to go back home. All right. All right, let's get one more card, Spirit. What are this person's intentions with Sagittarius? Oh, what did I say? Look at that, Page of Pentacles. I told you I used the word practical. Um, Pentacles are all about what's practical that's what they're feeling they feel like it's not practical to be you know arguing with you to be in a battle with you you know to be at odds with you it's not serving them it's making them cold it's making them unhappy it's making them feel lonely feel rejected there's just no benefit. They don't see any benefit in being, you know, against you. Or working against you, working against this relationship with you. So again, with the Page of Pentacles, this is the energy of let me just make things right. Let me apologize. Let me fix things. Let me just say that I was wrong. And let me try to create peace and harmony again between me and Sagittarius. All right. So I'm just curious about your feelings. So let's take a look at that and then we'll look at the outcome because this reading is pretty straightforward. I don't, I mean, I guess I could clarify a little bit. I'm a little bit curious about that chariot card. All right, let's look at the chariot first. Tell me about chariot spirit. 
clarify the chariot card. We have Libra on the table. Some of you are dealing with a Libra, also Leo, also Taurus, and Virgo. Or another Sagittarius for some of you. All right, clarifying the chariot, we have the Queen of Swords. Ooh, this person knows they this person knows they have to come towards you correctly. They know they know you're not going to tolerate shenanigans. They know they need to get it together. Otherwise, you're going you're going to continue shutting them out. Okay, so I guess this um, this separation um, was effective because it definitely um, it definitely looks like this person took this time to reflect on themselves and on their attitude and their behavior, and I do feel like this person is coming toward you correctly now. Again, because they know they know you and they know you're not going to tolerate anything less. So they learned their lesson, basically. I feel like that's what they're going to express to you in some way. I learned my lesson. Okay. What else do I want to see? I'm curious about the justice card. Let's look at that one. Tell me about justice, spirit. Why is the justice card here in their intentions? So we have the queen of cups. Again, I am getting an energy of I learned my lesson, you know. I don't want to feel this way anymore. I don't want to feel left out in the cold anymore. I want my baby back is what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm getting that energy. Like, I want my baby back. Queen of Cups. She's like a mother, basically. Male or female. All right. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Okay, same message. I want my baby back. Ace of Cups is also a little bit of... A baby energy it's you know it's a it's a maternal energy it's a love energy this person wants you to love them again and they want that closeness again they want to be close to you they want that emotional connection with you again yeah I feel like this person misses you Your absence is weighing heavy on them. Distance has made the, the heart grow fonder with this person, is what I'm getting. Okay. All right, what do I want to see now? I did. I was going to look at your... All right, let's look at your feelings, because I'm curious. I'm, I'm, I'm a Gemini Ascendant. I'm curious about everything. What are the... Um, what are Sagittarius's feelings for this person here that's showing up, Spirit? What are Sagittarius's current feelings towards this person? Two of Wands in reverse. All right, tell me more. Three of Cups in your feelings. And the Hangman. Ooh. You've been waiting for this person. Hangman and the Three of Cups. Well, I didn't expect that. You've been waiting for this moment you've been waiting for this moment yeah two of wands in reverse means that you haven't really been exploring your options if you were in the upright position that tells me that you're exploring other opportunities other alternatives other routes roads paths directions in life 
but you're not doing that. You're not exploring your any options. You're waiting for this person to show up. So I guess you already knew they were going to show up. Hi, um, Hangman is very intuitive. It's Pisces energy. So you intuitively, you intuitively knew that this person would try to come back and make things right with you. And how do you feel about that? How does Sagittarius feel about... How does Sagittarius feel about this person returning back to them? Or how is Sagittarius going to feel when it happens? Ace of Swords in the reverse. What does that mean? What do you mean Ace of Swords in reverse? The Lovers. And the Hierophants. Ooh, so you were trying to teach this person a lesson. Hierophant is all about learning lessons, which is something that I mentioned um, when I was reading these cards here. I mentioned them learning their lesson. It kind of looks like that's what you wanted with the Hierophant. How do you feel, though, with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Lovers? I feel like you're a little bit skeptical. Ske Why is that word? That word is a little bit hard for me to say. Skeptical. You're a little bit skeptical about them really learning their lesson. Like, did you really learn your lesson? Are you sure? Because I don't think so. Or I doubt it. So I feel like you're, in regards to your feelings, I feel like you're going to be feeling a little bit neutral. You're going to be a little bit neutral and it's because you don't, you don't, you haven't seen the evidence, you know, with the Hierophant, you're kind of in this energy of like, well, I, I, where's the evidence? I don't see any evidence yet. So when I see the evidence, then I'll have some sort of emotion. But right now, I'm not going to have any emotion. Show me first. Show me the evidence first. You know, prove yourself first. Then we can talk about how I feel. You know, I feel like that's, that's your energy here. All right, Sagittarius. So I hope this reading helped you in some way. I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.